What's up, my go-getters? It's your girl, Trey, and I'm coming to you guys today with um, my Sunday dinner. Um, today, I'm going to be making chicken and red gravy, also known as chicken creole, and I'm going to add a little bit of sausage to it. And um, this is like a New Orleans Cajun type of dish. Um, I try to keep the things that I cook a little versatile. Um, my family is very diverse. So, you know, I try to keep it, you know, a little versatile. So my, um, my wife is actually a uh, Guamanian and Creole. So, I said I'm going to start making more Creole. And I'm going to try to learn to make some Guamanian dishes. But today, we're going to be doing um, a Creole dish. Like I said, it's going to be chicken and red gravy. Also known as uh, chicken Creole. And I'm going to add some um, andouille sausage to it. This is the sausage that I'm going to be using today. This is really good. I actually used it the other day when I made some uh, spicy Alfredo with red sauce. And it was very good. And this is a Richard's and do it sausage brand. Um, of course, you can use whatever you like. So I have my sausage. I have some. Uh, let's see. I don't know. Wanna, let me back all this stuff up first. Yeah, that's my chicken. So I have some wing, some wing, chicken wingettes that I just cut the tips off of them, um, and some chicken legs. Now you can use chicken thigh. I would definitely suggest using a bone-in chicken, but um, you can use whatever. Just if you use the wings, make sure you cut the tip off like I've done here. See, I cut the tip off of that wing. And um, so, yeah, that's uh, for the meat. And then I have my fresh herbs here. Rosemary. I have some fresh, fresh rosemary. Basil. And some thyme. Um, fresh garlic, three cloves of, of garlic, at least three cloves, uh, green bell pepper, celery, uh, one whole yellow onion or white, whichever you prefer. Um, and then for my um, sauce, I'm going to be using um, two cans, I think this is two 30 ounce cans, yeah, two 30 ounce cans of Hunt's tomato sauce. No salt added if you can because it's just kind of hard to take away salt. You can always add it, but it's hard to take it out. Um, and one can of Hunt's diced tomato. This is also a 30 ounce can. And uh, let's see, what else are we going to be using today? Oh, yeah, okay. So I have my other seasonings that I'm going to be using. Uh, first of all, my Chef Pompadour poultry season. You can use whatever poultry season. This is just the type that I like to use. Um, some crushed red pepper. That's for the heat. Now to control the heat, of course, you could use whatever you know heat seasonings you would like. But I'm going to be using crushed red pepper, some Mrs. Dash extra spicy, some ground red cayenne pepper. So that's what I'm going to be using for the heat. And then that's my poultry seasoning. Of course, black pepper, some dried oregano, bay leaves. Of course, salt. And then uh, Creole seasoning. You can use whatever Creole seasoning that you would like to use. I actually got this out of the French Quarter um, in New Orleans when I was there a couple of months back. So, um, yeah. Whatever Creole seasoning you would like to use. But this is what I'll be using. So, that's pretty much everything that you'll need for this dish. So, um, now we're going to rinse and clean our chicken. So, yeah. Get into it. Okay, so my go getters, I have my chicken here, as you can see. So what I'm gonna start off doing is cleaning my chicken. So I'm gonna take a, um, oh excuse me, I'm gonna take a um onion. Onion and onion. And <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Stop playing! What the fuck? Stop playing! What the fuck is that? Ah! What the? Fuck? And I'm gonna half it. And I'm just going to scrub my chicken, um, you know, each piece across. Just rub it real good. Trying to squeeze it a little bit, get the juice out. And um, if you don't clean your poultry with lemon, it's really good too. Um, just because it's going to strip all the uh, rawness and uh, gamey flavor out of it. It's really good for rinsing and cleaning. You know, lemon is a natural cleaning agent anyway. So, I'm just going to rub the lemon across each piece of chicken. Get it real good. 
And um, I'm not really going to worry about too much fat in here because this is kind of going to be like a stewed chicken. Um, but of course I'm going to take like any big pieces like I will remove that off. That's just too big. But I'm going to run my knife across here once I get it rinsed and pull off all the fat. But yeah, this is just what I'm doing to get it real and good and clean. And um, let's see. Go ahead and use my other half of lemon for the rest of it. See, so yeah, like all that, I'm gonna pull all that that stuff off. I'm gonna pull all that off with my knife. But for now, I'm just gonna take my lemon and clean my chicken. So yeah, you guys, I'll be back. I'm pretty sure y'all know how to clean chicken, so I'm just showing y'all this part that I do. So yeah, get into it. Okay, all my go-getters, I have my um, chicken all rinsed and um, cleaned. I'll show you guys that real quick. It's all clean, I pulled all the excess fat off. So now I'm going to cut up my vegetables. I have uh, about three cloves of garlic here. And I'm just going to, um, whoops. I'm just going to uh, peel these and rough chop them. They don't have to really be, you know, um, minced or anything, unless that's how you like it, of course. Um, the point is, in my opinion, is to get the flavor in there, so whatever, whatever. So, yeah, have those three cloves of garlic, or about two and a half, but this one's kind of small. So, about two and a half, three cloves of garlic. I'm going to rough chop those. I don't know what it is. And then once I get my um, garlic chopped, I'm gonna chop my celery. I've already rinsed it off. And um, what I wanted to mention also is um, you can use like a big, um, I don't know, maybe like a big uh, size skillet almost. But I'm gonna use a Dutch oven today. And for stuff like this, I would suggest using a Dutch oven. Oh, of course you can also use, um, I've never done it this way, but um, I'm pretty sure that'll be pretty good. I just had a a moment um but you could use a slow cooker and just make sure you set it real low because you know it is chicken it's not gonna take very long but yeah maybe a slow cooker to use but um i'm gonna be using a dutch oven so yeah i'm just gonna finish cutting up all of these veggies there's my garlic and i'm about to do my celery like I said, I've already rinsed this. I don't like to use that bottom part just because it be dirt sitting there. I don't know why. It's just weird like that. But the rest of them, <laughs> I'm going to use the rest of these. And then um, once I do the celery, I'm going to do my bell pepper and my onion. And then I'm going to just pull off the sprigs of the thyme and the rosemary. I'm gonna use the whole celery stalk, the leaves and all. So, yeah. And you can kind of see, yeah, they got a little dirt on it. I don't want that piece. So yeah, that's my celery and my garlic. And um, now I'm going to do onion and bell pepper. And then the next step is to season the chicken. So I'll be right with the back. So I'll be right back with the next step. So yeah, get it. Okay, go get it. I'm pretty much done with my vegetables, chopping them up. Like I said, I used uh, one whole onion. This is a pretty big bell pepper. So I think I'm only gonna use about half of it because it is huge. So I'm just love chopping these. Like I said, you can chop them how big, how small. But you gotta remember this is gonna cook down and pretty much stew for like two hours. Or until your um your gravy starts to uh thicken, and it's usually about a two hour or so period. So yeah, these are gonna cook down. So you don't have to necessarily chop them really really small. Okay, so I have all my veggies chopped, celery, celery, garlic, onion and bell pepper all the veggies we need for that okay so now 
that we have that done. Like I said, I'm using a Dutch oven. And mine's come with a lid. Let me show you how mine is. And you can skip this step. It's pretty much optional. But this is my lid to my Dutch oven. And it comes with like this griddle plate. So what I'm going to do is um, before I put my chicken in my... Um, before I put my chicken in my red, red sauce gravy, I'm going to uh, grill it just a little bit. The skin just keeps locking the flavor. But I'm going to go ahead and season it first. So I got my salt. Black pepper. That's a brand new thing. <laughs> black pepper. And I would suggest heavily, season, heavily seasoning this. Because um, like I said, it's going to be stewed. So, um, you know, I would like, you know, a lot of flavor. Something stewed. You don't want it too bland with too much, you know, liquid. Um, this is my poultry seasoning. Y'all already know I don't measure nothing. But I guarantee if you just season until you smell it, you good. So, um, I'm going to put a little bit of dry oregano, but I'm going to also use this in my sauce as well. Just a little bit of dry oregano. And then my Creole seasoning. Like I said, heavily seasoned. And then I'm just going to massage this in, all of the meat. And then I'm going to uh, put these on my grill, my griddle plate. Just sort of lock in all that flavor. So yeah, this is what it's looking like. Get into it, y'all. Okay, my go getters, I'm back now. So like I said, I have uh, this lid for my Dutch, the, the you know my Dutch oven that I'm gonna just grill my chicken on just to, just for a second just to lock the, all those flavors in. Like I said, this is optional. You don't have to do that, but this is what makes. You know, this is just my little twist to it. So, I'm just going to take um, the chicken and just sit it on the grill. I'm not really trying to cook it. I'm just really trying to lock in the flavors, like I said, all the seasoning. So, it's not like it's cooking. But I'm going to let this hang out for a little bit. It smells good already. Run out of room on here, but it'll be all right. Cause like I said, I'm not cooking it. I'm just kind of locking in that flavor. So I'm really piling this shit up on here at this point. But like I said, it's cool. We're not cooking it. We're just trying to, you know, get that the skin of the chicken with some flavor in it. I put those two on last. So I start turning them. So yeah. This is what I'm doing with this. Just letting it lock in, get some flavor. I'm about to go ahead and start my um my red sauce, my red gravy. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my heat. So I won't uh, turn up my heat. I already had it on low, so I'm gonna turn it up to medium. So probably about at a six to seven back here on this pot right here. So this kind of been on here hanging out. So I'm gonna just go ahead and turn the first couple of pieces that I put down. See so yeah, they already like, you know. Flavor is starting to be good on the skin. Okay. So flip these over. Like I said, we're not cooking it. We're just trying to, you know, lock in some of that flavor. And this is optional. I should really be using some tongs for this. But it wouldn't be my ghetto cookie show if I did. <laughs> okay, guys. So. So yeah, you're gonna do this on both sides, you know, let it hang out, let it chill, whatever, let it do its thing. Then we're gonna come back to our uh red sauce. But for now, what you can go ahead and do is go ahead and add in all your veggies. This is your celery, onion, garlic, bell pepper, all that. Like I said, I'm using a Dutch oven. I would suggest like a good stewing pot. Or like I said, a slow cooker. I'm 
I'll bring this over here so y'all can see. And those are going. So I'm just gonna let them cook down. I'm gonna go ahead and put my salt and salt and um, pepper on here, just so they'll start releasing the um, fragrance on the onions and the bell peppers. And then I'll come back and add all the rest of the seasoning to it. But for now, I'm just gonna add the salt and the bell pepper. So yeah, you guys, get into it. Okay, about to add my salt in here. And the pepper. Okay, so I'm gonna just let these kind of cook down and wilt down before I add any more seasoning. The salt and pepper is going to help it do what it needs to do. So once they start to be a little bit transparent, I'll go ahead and cut them off and then I'll add my thyme, my rosemary, all of that, and my sauces and everything. So yeah, get into it. Okay, y'all, so here's my chicken. Like I said, I'm just kind of turning this, letting the flavor get in. Like I said, I'm not trying to cook it, because this is going to stew for a long time in that red gravy. But, like I said, I want to lock this flavor in on this chicken, since it's not boneless and it's not, I mean, since it's not skinless, you know, sometimes it can be kind of bland, and I'm all about the flavor, so... I think these is pretty good. I'm gonna take a couple of these off because I got two more pieces that I'm gonna stick on here that I don't have room. The longer the season is, is the seasoning starts to turn a little brown. You know, I know it's kind of doing what I want it to do. So I'm gonna take some of these off. I do the wings. This is like my first leg I put on there. So that's that. Okay, so got two more pieces I want to add. Those on. Those good. So while those are doing it, I'm gonna ahead, go ahead and get back to the uh, red gravy. Y'all go ahead and like and subscribe. Okay, go get it from my back now. The chicken is all done, so as you can see, these are pretty much done. They're very transparent. So now I'm gonna add, I'm gonna go ahead and add one can of the 30 ounce tomato sauce. add all the tomato sauce. I don't know why I said it's on can, but actually go ahead and add the tomato sauce. Again, that's two 30 ounce cans of hunts. No salt added if you can find tomato sauce. This is my, um, these are my diced tomatoes. That's one can of diced tomatoes. Another can of tomato sauce. And then pretty much all you're gonna do after this step is add all the rest of the seasons that you have left over, your thyme, your rosemary, your basil, bay leaf, your Creole seasoning, your dried oregano, your Mrs. Dash. Yeah, that's pretty much what you're gonna be doing at this last step. So I'm going to turn this up so it can start to cook. I hope my camera is not too dim. I hope you guys can see. Let's see if I can move my light closer. Maybe that'll help. Okay, so yeah. So now, like I said, got some um, rosemary. Now you can um, 
put the whole sprig in if you would like but um i'm just gonna pull these off the stem like that and i don't this you don't have to use rosemary i just really like you know the fragrance of rosemary and i like the flavor it gives so i'm gonna use it but i would definitely say use your bay leaf your basil and your thyme because those are very important in this dish The basil, um, you can rough chop it, chop it if you like. That's what I'm gonna do here. I'm just gonna rough chop it. Slide this over some. Here's your basil. Add that. And then I want to add some thyme. And you can just take your finger and run it across it. And that'll just pull all of your list. Uh oh, I lost mine. That'll be okay. Um, so it's just like I said, take your finger and run it across. You don't want to cut these stems up. These are kind of big. But luckily I could pick that one out at the end because you're going to pick out your bay leaf also. I'm getting some big sprigs in here. These are some tiny <laughs> thyme stems, but it'll be okay. A little bit more. I love cooking with fresh herbs. Anytime you have the opportunity to cook with anything fresh, do it because it's gonna make all the difference in your meal. And honestly, fresh herbs are so much cheaper than the whole bottle that we used to buying. And if you cook enough, it won't go to waste. Now, of course, if you don't cook a lot, then yeah, they probably will go to waste. So I have my basil, my thyme, my rosemary. Now I'm going to add my um, bay leaves. If I can find out where I put it, like, okay. So, bay leaves. I think my camera's off focus. So, I'm going to add just about two of those. Okay. So, in, at this point, you can just go ahead and add your... Um, all your other rest of your seasoning. So I'm going to add my Mrs. Dash Extra Spicy. I will say that's probably about two, about two teaspoons. Some dry oregano. Let's see. There we go. The Creole seasoning. Now that I would say about two to three tablespoons of that. Only because, you know, this is a Creole dish, so. We want to do what it do, huh? Okay, so I'm adding a little bit of a uh, crushed red pepper. And this is my Creole seasoning again. You probably could order it online. I'm not sure. But this, this is real good. Like, I love it. And a little bit of crushed red pepper. I'm not going to add a lot at all. About that much. I would say that's about a half a teaspoon. And that's all the heat that I'm going to add to this because I don't want it too spicy. So, yeah. And now that it's starting to boil a little bit, I really hope my camera angle is good. Let's see if I can um, get a better angle for y'all. Maybe it's not better. I just want y'all to be able to see this goodness because this is real good. See all those veggies and that seasoning, y'all. This is gonna be so good. Y'all just don't have no clue. So I'm gonna let this uh simmer for um, let's see. I would say about 30 to 45 minutes on low. I'm gonna turn it down as you can see it's kind of simmering. 
So I'm going to turn it down on um, low heat. And I'm going to let this simmer. Let the sauce come together. Let it thicken and everything. And then I'm going to go in and add my chicken. Oh, let me show y'all the chicken. So here's the chicken. It's kind of got like a little brownish golden color to it. And that let me know that the seasoning is all locked in. So, um, just let this cook down. Well, not let it cook down. But just let this simmer for about, like I said, 20 to 30 minutes. And then add, we'll go ahead and add the chicken and the sausage at our next step. So, get into it, y'all. Okay, go get us. We're back. So, um, my sauce is on real, real low. Simmer. I just wanted those flavors to kind of marry you know before I add my meat but I don't want it to cook down too low and I don't want it to get thick so you know you just want to kind of let it marry first kind of mix it well together then go in and add your chicken and before we add chicken I'm going to take a tablespoon of sugar and just add it just to cut that um you know the acid from the tomatoes this was not so much tomato sauce I mean, so much uh, acid in the tomato sauce. So that's just a tablespoon of sugar that I added. I don't really cook with sugar a lot, but for this one, I would definitely suggest add that. And um, so here's my chicken. I'm gonna start adding that in. Let's see if I can get y'all a better angle. Let's take this back a little bit. Okay. So yeah, here's the chicken. We're gonna add our chicken pieces in. And all you got left to do with this, y'all, is just let this cook and stew down for like um, about an hour and a half, two. And I'm gonna cut up the andouille sausage and I'm gonna add that too. And um, if you wanna like, add stuff to this of course you could but this is the basics like i've never had chicken uh and red gravy with anything besides um now i has had somebody to add um had somebody to add okra to it but um that's about it i've never really had anything else added to it but of course you know make it your own this is what i did with this like i i've added that grill part to it so you know whatever you like like just add to it so I'm gonna crank this up just a little bit and then I want to add my sausage like I said I got indoor you can get you know whatever brand but this brand is really good it's Richards never heard of it before but I don't know I was drawn to it in the store so and I'm glad I picked it up it's so good too. and um Actually, you know what? I'm going to wait to add my sausage. I'm not going to add my sausage just yet. I'm going to let this cook for about an hour and then I'm going to go in and add my sausage because I just thought about it. I don't want my sausage real mushy. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to wait. So yeah, I'm going to just let this cook down for about an hour and a half, two hours. And y'all, it's going to be so good. I normally just make it with chicken, but this time I'm doing the sausage. Next time I want to do chicken, shrimp, and sausage. So we're going to see what it do. But yeah, y'all, don't forget to like and subscribe. Please, I'm going to start turning my comments on so you guys can leave me a little feedback or whatever. So yeah, get into it. I'll be back in about an hour and a half, two hours. One hour later. Okay, my go-getters. So this has been cooking down for about an hour now. It smells so good. Oh, yo, gee, Janet. <laughs> yeah, this is good. Okay, so now I'm just about to um, add my andouille sausage. I did this real ghetto. I cut it up on the pack, but you know, whatever. So, adding my sausage. And then, for the last step, I'm going to just boil some rice. Now you could do, of course, you could do pasta. Um, linguine pasta is good. Angel hair pasta is good. 
Um, but I think I'm gonna do rice today. I'm gonna take a vote in the house. They probably gonna want uh, rice because we just had pasta the other day. So I think I'm gonna just do some uh, rice. I'm gonna do any long grain rice. I think I'm gonna do jasmine rice. And um, so I'm gonna let this cook down for about another 30 to 45 minutes. I'm gonna let this get sauce get just a little bit thicker. I want just a little bit thicker than this. And if it don't seem to cook down, I mean, it seems to be getting thicker, that means just let it cook some more. Let it cook down some more. So, yeah. I'm about to turn this heat up just a tad. I mean, I'm sorry, down just a tad. And I'm going to let this cook for another 30, 45 minutes. And then I'm going to boil my rice. And that'll be it. Get it for it. Okay, my girl gives my timer has just went off. So that means my chicken and red sauce has been cooking now for a total of two hours. So I'm gonna turn it down. We'll turn it off actually. And I got my rice on boiling. So I'm just gonna show y'all what it's looking like. See how that's falling off the bottom? And all those veggies in it. Remember, you got your Andouille sausage in there. And we're going to put this over a bed of rice. Hold on, let me. There we go. I'm going to put this over a bed of rice. See all that meat, all those vegetables, all that seasoning, all those fresh herbs. Y'all, this is going to be so good. Get into it. Okay, my go getters, my meal is all done. So I'm going to plate it and serve it. So y'all can see the outcome. So I'm going to start with my rice. I should have uh, poured my rice out and strained it, but I didn't. Okay, so there's my rice. And there you go. Chicken and red gravy. Chicken Creole with a little bit of Andouille sausage. Y'all go watch, like, subscribe. Until next time, get into it.